Ann from Puppet Play Theater here. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about how you can make your own puppet play at home. First we're going to start by talking about how to make a stage. I made my stage using a dowel or stick and an old pillowcase that I cut to make my curtains. Then I used tag board to make the front of my stage. You can also use tag board to make props like the tree I used for owl babies or a stick that I also used. You could use the stick like this to do the story, five green and speckled frogs as well. You can also make a stage using a regular cereal box. Here I cut a hole in the front. You can put your puppet in and voila, you have a little stage. For one of my plays, I used props from a dollhouse, like this table. Another one of the songs that I did with puppets, I just drew some things on a piece of paper and I just placed it right over the front of my cardboard stage. And that also sets the scene for the hill, the clouds, the snow, and the gate for two little birds. Another type of stage you can use is a box for a play on uh, using clothespins. You could do, make your own little scene here like I did with a broom and you can clothespin characters on the side of the box. Or if I wanted to do five little pumpkins sitting on a gate, I could use that side. Then when you're all done, the nice thing about this is you can just store all the pieces inside the box. Another thing I used for one of my stages was some cardstock, and I just drew the picture on there and I posted it up on the wall and you can have your background for a play. Some things you can use for puppets, you don't have to have a regular store-bought puppet. You can use a glove and add some characters to the glove. You can use stuffed animals, anything you have around the house. You can use earmuffs. You can use hats. If your hat has something fun on it, you can wear the hat as a puppet. I made one of my characters out of a paper plate. You can use old paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls and just draw characters on the front of it. If you have socks, you can use any color sock, add some eyes, and you have a puppet. This was an envelope. I just drew a picture on, cut off the end of the envelope, and you can make an envelope puppet. You can take a plastic spoon, draw a face on it. You have a spoon puppet. You can use poly pockets. You can even use dog toys. This was a stuffed animal that was falling apart, so I took out the inside, and I can use that for a puppet as well. If you have old gloves, you can cut off a finger, add some eyes, and have a little finger puppet. The puppets I used for all babies were old white socks that I stuffed and added paper eyes and a paper beak, and I have owl puppets. You could use an old milk carton, cut off the front, and I have another type of owl puppet. You can use wooden spoons, draw a face on it. You can print out a picture and attach it to a straw or a dowel or even a chopstick. And when all else fails, you can draw a puppet on your finger and have a little finger puppet. Thanks for watching.